In this video, I'm gonna be customizing not one, not two, but three hydro flasks. That was obnoxious. Hi, I'm Sarah, and lately I have been designing custom canvas shoes. But in this video, I'm gonna channel my inner visco girl. I'm gonna be transforming some hydro flasks. Stay tuned till the end of the video for a giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away at least a couple of these. Okay, all right, all right. First, here I am channeling some creative inspiration from other YouTubers. And you know what? I also went for a million views. Marco, Gox Art, Chloe, and tons of other videos that I watched on customizing hydro flasks. I haven't actually washed this yet. Let's do it. These are my very first hydro flasks ever, and I guess I'm not even going to own them because I'm giving them away, but I would like to order one afterward because they are pretty great quality. I think that they're very durable, and uh, I would love to have one. To decorate, as you can see, I am going to be using Posca paint pens, which are water-based acrylic, acrylic, acrylic paint pens. They're a lot easier to use than paint brushes, and I do have some metallic ones. And actually by this point, even though I did watch a ton of different videos, I still had no idea what designs I was going to do. We're just gonna wing it. I'm gonna start with the white one and sketch out a simple design. I'm kinda nervous to <laughs> ruin it. <sighs> Not so bad. I wonder if you can erase this though. <laughs> what was that? Ew. Pencil erases off of this really easily if you guys mess up and want to uh, redo any lines. So that's good. satisfying. I realize that this kind of looks like dripping blood. That is not my intention. This is going to be rainbow as you will see very shortly. I should have rethought the color that I started with. Oops. I'm personally still in the Halloween mood and am watching creepy movies, but when am I not doing that? That's kind of like a year round thing for me. Let me know in the comment section below if you still feel Halloweeny or that ha like a Halloweeny. <laughs> or are you one of those people who is listening to Christmas music already, has your tree up? I definitely am not gonna do that until probably December 1st. I just think that November is second Halloween in my mind, except for Thanksgiving. Oh no. I did make a little mistake. This happened more than once, but I was able to cover it up with the white Posca paint pen. It's kind of like white out and it made everything disappear. So that's great. But there's also other ways to get this off, which I will show you later on. So again, don't worry about ruining your hydro flask by customizing it because there are so many ways to redo your drawings and it'll be good. Looks are pretty deceiving because even though this is a very simple design, it took me over three and a half hours to color in all 30 paint drips or blobs, whatever you want to call them. A very time consuming process, but it was totally worth it. Now, part of the process was outlining, as you see me do here with a more fine point Posca, and then I went in with a bigger tip and did all the coloring in just because that was quicker but then after everything was completely dry you can especially tell with the purple that they needed a second coat of paint it was just a little bit splotchy so i did go over all 30 stripes again and i filled everything in and made it look more uniform and solid no more texture in in the drips and it turned out like this i really love it even though it's so simple initially i wanted to color the entire flask but this is just a really sharp design and i honestly like wish that i could sell them like this just mass produce them with this rainbow splatter because i think it's really 
cool. Now let's move on to the black one. For this, I'm gonna do a simple black and white design. I got my hands on some 0.7 millimeter Posca paint pens. They are the miniest tips that you can get. And this is going to allow me to put a ton of detail into my design. So for this, I am outlining the Hydro Flask logo. And then I went in with a little bit thicker of a Posca to make the line more bold and pronounced. After that, I switched back to the very thin pin marker. That's what it's actually called. It's like a pin tip. I am doing Zentangly Mandala designs. Just an abstract, petally dot type thing. I've done this a lot in other videos, but I never use the same exact design twice. I don't think it's always just whatever is off the top of my head. That's what goes down onto the page usually, but here it's a water bottle. But before I show you the completed second water bottle design, I want to jump to the third Hydro Flask, and this is actually a design that I threw out. So I want to show you guys my struggle to figure out what to do with the third one. I thought that it was going to be really cool in my head. It didn't look like this. I should have probably drew it out on a piece of paper first and really knew what I was going for, but I put all these triangles, they didn't end up at the exact angle that I wanted them to, I guess, and it just didn't flow. It just looked like I put a bunch of triangles on, which I did, but in my mind, they were supposed to, I don't know, they were just supposed to pop. It was supposed to kind of look like a New Year's scene or something, and I was gonna have swirly confetti or something, I don't know, but it didn't work out. So what I ended up doing with Leo's supervision, he's like, Sarah, what are you doing? You really messed up, you need to fix it. I got some isopropyl alcohol out, AKA rubbing alcohol, and I was able to wipe off the entire marker design so I could start over. So we'll get back to this third one in a minute, but first I want to show you the completed second Hydro Flask. So again, I'm just doing some more doodly designs and I'm filling in just the top half. I did think about doing underneath the person, but then I'm like, how can I draw between the legs without making it look suggestive or, you know. <laughs> so I just stuck with this and I think it turned out really cool. Everything is cool. <laughs> I'm very happy with this design. It took about an hour and a half, I think. Leo absolutely approves of this design. Actually, no, he doesn't care, but he's comfortable. So we're moving on to the third one. And for this, I still just really wasn't sure what to do. I think I had trouble because I'm like, I need to have a gray water bottle for a little bit of contrast uh, to switch up, but it's really easier to work on black, white, or something super colorful. Gray just was not vibing for me, so I'm like, we need to use the pastel Poscas, just because I haven't used them yet. Then one exploded, completely blobbed, so I'm having so much trouble with this. I was able to get this fixed really quickly, but uh, yeah, that happened, and um, I just moved on with another flower. So these are like the groovy 70s type flowers. Kind of look like SpongeBob-esque also. Then I decided swirls would look cool with gold and I drew very tiny flowers outlined with yellow and made that line as thick as I could. And I did find that if you press out some of the ink, it's easier to draw on top and like make the lines thicker because if you do draw directly on top of the marker, it will kind of scratch itself off. You've probably seen that happen throughout the video. Sometimes I had a hard time getting the pens to start up and sometimes it was hard to draw on top of things. So dipping the tip in a pool of ink really helped me out. It made the design process go a lot quicker and I was able to get more color down and yeah it just filled everything in nicely so i really don't know how i feel about this design honestly uh it's just all over the place hopefully some of you guys like it um here it is it's it's something now here are the giveaway details 
There are two parts to this, so you're gonna have to leave two different comments on two different videos. One is to leave a comment on this video telling me which Hydro Flask is your favorite, which design is the best, like which one you would wanna win, and of course that you are entering. The second part is to go on over to my rainbow shoes video from last week, and you will have to leave a comment there also. I have it on the screen, what you have to leave the comment of. So yeah, those are the two things that I'm asking you to do for this to enter. You have to be subscribed, but that's it. I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to turn post notifications on so you never miss out. That sounded so announcer I'm sorry, but please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you. Ow, my finger. La la la. Can we juggle hydroflasks? I will probably break them. Ready? Oh no 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 no. Ah! Custom canvas.